Hello, my name is Brenton Earl. I am a Slackware contributor and I mainly focus on the ARM platform. Today I am going to speak about the Honeycomb workstation and I'm going to test the firmware flashing utility on bare metal. This is going to be a short video. It's mainly just to, to outline how to choose which firmware to flash within the utility and to do it from an already installed system and how to replace or upgrade firmware. The first step to take is to connect to the honeycomb uh, over secure shell or serial console because in my case I do not have a video card in the PCIe slot so let's just connect over switch to root and we can open up the bootloader flashing utility for the honeycomb the first thing you'll notice is that the script has detected my hardware model my system on chip uh, the file that is installed into SBI Flash already and this just describes the hardware profile that I'm using um, CPU clock speed bus clock speed 700 megahertz and uh, the RAM speed and the Surtees configuration so we're going to go ahead and look at the next screen so you can see the configuration that I have uh, is specific to my system because I have different RAM speed. Uh, I haven't overclocked or rebuilt or anything for the firmware. Um, and my fiber optic ports are configured like that, which is 10 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, so we're just going to select the one that I have installed already just to show this works and test it and choose the correct firmware so sometimes what you'll find is if there's been an update to firmware the tag will change maybe you'd like to select a different firmware that you've downloaded because there's a bug or whatever and so we're going to continue and at this point you're going to flash the the SPI flash with the firmware files that you selected so before you flash the firmware, make sure that your system will not get shut off or interrupted in any way while flashing. It won't brick anything, it will just be tiresome to fix it. So let's go ahead and flash. And you can see it's very similar to the Rock Pro 64 and the Pine Book and how this is written to the SPI flash chip. Now the image file uh, listed is being written to the SPI flash. And after that it will be verified and then we'll move on. Okay, so it's been successfully flashed. Let's hit OK and you can either reboot or wait till a better time. But if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to comment on the video. If you'd like to contribute directly but you're not sure how, the best way is to sponsor us and donate directly to our project. Thanks for watching.